Hello everyone, Aaron's one of cars here for another review, and today we're going to take a look at Darren Ledfoot. Now, I just got this guy off of eBay, and uh, now I'm a little behind on him, a lot of people have probably already reviewed him, but, ah oh well, you know, because I know everyone's probably now starting to review the next gens, but, ah oh well, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, I'm just a little bit behind. Uh, but before I, uh, you know, just get into him, I just want to say a few things. Sorry for no reviews. You know, because of, you know, one, school, two, the movie I'm working on, and, I mean, I'm almost done. I finished editing everything, like, all the music, even the credits. I'm thinking of doing an end credit, but not, like, a scene or, like, a something, but I don't really want to say what it is yet. Um, but, uh, I basically got everything done, except, like, the little front screen, like, the name I'm trying to do something with it. And it's taking a little time, but it should be done something, you know, soon. Or I'm not doing it, but of course, please, it is. But don't really want to get into that. But, uh, let me think what I was going to say next. Yes. Um, so, it's hard to, for me to do this stuff because of the movie I'm making, as you know. I have no storage left. I wouldn't be surprised if this video would say no storage. Um, but I don't think it will. But I can't really process the whole movie together, because it is an hour and 35 minutes long. I did not expect for it to be that long. I thought the, like, the movie, like, the other movie I made would be a lot longer, but it's not. Uh, the, um, DCAP movie. But anyways, let's get into this car, and, um, so yeah, so there's Darren Ledfoot, and there's the other cars in the match, and I think I have a couple of these. Uh, I don't have Jimbo, but I'm going to get him with the two-pack instead. Brad's side, you can get it by himself. I'm going to try to get that. Maybe last, you know. R Roscoe, I am definitely going to try to get him next. Aaron, I think, or Ernie Gearson. I think I'm going to try to get him. I think I'll get him next. That or RV. Uh, I already have him. I have those two already. So, on the back, I basically just have to get these two. I'm going to wait to get him the two-pack probably last. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get the deluxe, uh, Mr. Trippy and, um, RV. Then I'm gonna get, um, more. But anyways, let's go ahead and open him up, shall we? Okay, get him out of the box. There we go. Throw that away, and let's take a look at him. Now, I got this guy, because I actually like Shiny Wax a little bit more than Ernie Gerson. But there is one thing I do like about Ernie Gerson, and that's the expression. But I'll talk about that whenever I get him. That, and you probably know. Anyways. But yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at him, shall we? So, Shiny Wax, um, we'll do the expression last. Uh, but as you can see, Shiny Wax, I don't have the Cars 1 version, so, or the next gen, I don't even think. We saw the next gen version um, as a die cast, but uh, so Shiny Wax has like a nice gold color. It used to be like a circle on the hood, but here it does look nice. And I noticed that a lot of the new cars, like like it's been bigger on the hood, like shrunk fresh, or well, I mean Danico has been that way, but that's probably a bad example. Uh, no stall. Let me get some of these cars up here that I didn't really think I would compare to, uh, where's toe cap? Like that. That's basically how some of these are now. Now some are a little small, but still kind of big. Um, I don't know, but I'm just like going on now. Here's another one. But uh, anyways, that's, he definitely does look nice, I must say, and uh, what's that? On somewhere, a little tape. Ooh, okay, that does not look good. The decal is, like, peeling off. I just noticed that. Uh, is that gonna... rip off? I don't wanna tear it. Oh, okay, it just came right off. Okay. So, not to worry. Nothing really bad. I thought something bad just happened. But anyways, light gear right there on the side. There it is inside again. Number 82. Piston cup, and it's black right here. 
which I must say did kind of match it, because all the time, I noticed in the piston cup, like, black smoke is, like, coming up right here, but it, it's supposed to look like this, so, yeah, I don't know if you noticed that, but it, it has been, like, black smoke around here, but that is because of the exhaust is right here, so, it would make sense. And there's 82, nice little lime green. I got this guy because I love green and gold. And he definitely has gold right there. More of like a yellowish, orangish, orangish go gold, I should say, but close enough. <laughs> Red arrow right there, which is definitely, you can see a lot better compared to this guy. You can barely see that. Um, nice little lines of green and lime green. Lime green up there with the number 28 in, kind of like gold. Shiny wax right there, which looks really nice, and I love the back right here. You probably definitely remember him seeing in Cars 3, as Jackson Storm did pass him when you first saw him. Not really a big spoiler, but you probably even saw him in the trailer. In fact, I think he was actually in the, uh, in the first trailer, the first teaser trailer. Shiny wax right there. There's all the sponsors. Just, you know, mustache and a nice little angry-ish expression, angry smile expression. And, uh, the back actually goes on the spoiler, which I have noticed for a lot. Like, a little extra detail on the spoiler. Let me get a better car. Okay, I don't actually have a car that has that, but, like, a little detail on the spoiler, you know? That has definitely been seen on some of these cars. Oh uh, no. I'm like looking for a car right now. I've not seen any yet. Okay, here we go. Right there on the spoiler little detail. Um, I think there's one right here. Yeah, see? A little extra on the spoiler. I definitely do like it when they do that because it does make them look, you know, unique. So yeah, there's the base made by Mattel, Disney Pixar, and it's a 155 square diecast, and it has black wheels, which I definitely like. Definitely makes them look a lot better. But anyways, let's go on to the expression. So he is the Cal Weathers model, but the mouth looks extremely different. The mouth, well, not extremely different, but the mouth is different. Like... All of these cars have, like, a similar mouth. Okay, let me show you the mouth differences. In fact, I actually just noticed it. You see how, like, how, what is mouth? You can see, like, little indentions right here, or indents or something like that, like little circles or something around the smile. Here, you can only see one circle. Only one. So, yeah, it is kind of a new mold, sort of, but I'm sure, like, just kind of rubbed it in or something, but, like, in the metal... They melt or something. I don't know how they make the model. Because if you remember, if you remember very well back then when they changed an expression, they used the mouth plates. So many mouth plates. And here is probably the worst example, or actually the best example of a mouth plate. Right there. Just to change a little, little expression to save money, actually. I don't even think, but, yeah. Anyways, um, so the eyes, you can definitely see an eye difference in this one, but you probably can't see one in this one. And actually, I think they are the same. Yeah, they look around the same. Yeah, I think they are the same, actually. Actually, the eyebrow looks to be more going up this way, or the eyelid goes up more this way. Well, this one just a little curve, a little up. No, this one is different. These are all the ones that look similar with that expression right there. Okay, just to show you. You can see they are all similar, but they all have little differences. These two probably are more similar, but the eyelid goes up more on this one. Like, all eyelids are different, and I definitely do like that, because it definitely gives them more unique features than the old ones uh, from Cars 1, because every expression was the same compared to, like, the old ones, like, from each model. Exactly the same. Of course, back then, they do they did do raised eyelids. Um, but still, I mean, they still did it for the King in Cars 3, which is still exactly the same. But, yeah, so... Let me get Shiny Rex back here. So, yeah, this was uh, Darren Leadfoot, 
And, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna get a little quick comparison with Rusty's, like, in the queen here. You know, because they both raced around the same time when he was in this paint job. But, yeah, um, you should expect this guy in Series 4, for or Season... I always call it Series 4, but I like Season better. Car Season, Car Series. The Car Series sounds better, but Cars Season 4, or my next season, you know, like, both names sound better. One person says, why do you call a series? I don't know, Cars, the series, sounds better than Cars, the season. Actually, well, Cars, the series, season four. I guess that's actually a good name. Cars, the series, season four. Yeah. Uh, but this guy will definitely appear, appear. In fact, a lot of guys were wondering, um, will we see Nitrate in series four, this version? And yes, we will see him in uh, season four, for sure. Um... But we will not see the nitro or the N two O cola wine from Cars One. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't. I haven't been like talking a lot today, but uh, it's because I haven't really done a lot of videos, probably. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.